Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to speed up uTorrent. Uh, it is 2023 so I'm using the latest version. Um, before we start, if you're using this version, uh, there is uTorrent Web, which will look like this. And I'd advise against it, it's just got less functionality. If I show you in the settings, you don't have many settings to choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Um, you will want to use the desktop app version. So if I just open up uTorrent, there we are, you want to use this version. So there's two initial short quick wins that you can do in order to increase your download speed. The first one is to ensure that you have a good seed to peer ratio. So for this random torrent I'm downloading, just as an example, has 1.6, you want it above 1. Um, so seeds are people who are download, uh, sorry, who are uploading that torrent, so they're available for you to download. And leeches also um, commonly referred to as people who are just downloading it; they're not uploading it. So the more people that are downloading and not uploading means slower download speeds for yourself. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to options, preferences, and go to general. Um, so you'll come to this screen here personally. I turn off uTorrent when Windows starts. It's just I don't always use the app, so there's no point in uh, it starting up when I turn my computer on. The second one is you're going to want to check these two boxes. Ensure that those two boxes are checked. Go ahead and click apply. What you're next going to want to do is go down to connection. And this is one of the most important parts is um, this port will probably be um, assigned to you when you download uTorrent, it'll be a generic port that uTorrent commonly uses. You're going to want to change that. As long as it's above 10,000 and below 60,000, you should be fine. Um, personally, I've just used this one uh, to 7773 because it works quite well. Uh, once you've changed your port, go ahead and click apply and click OK. Go back into your preferences uh, and go to bandwidth. So if you come all the way down to the bottom at bandwidth, you'll have global maximum connection. Change it to 500 as I've got and change maximum number of connected peers per torrent to 100. That just enables you to possibly download from 100 different people. Um, and also number of upload slots per torrent to 100. And then go ahead and click apply. And you're going to want to go down to queuing. So if you're downloading multiple torrents at one single point in time, obviously your download speed per torrent is going to be split. So this just means that you change the maximum number of active torrents to three. You can only download three torrents at one time and maximum number of active downloads to three. Um, you can change this if you are downloading a large number of torrents and just leave it on overnight. But for the course of this video, I'll just change it to three. And then you just want to hit apply. Now you want to go down to advanced and then filter advanced to type in dht and dht.rate this will probably be set to minus two if you want to set it to two click set and then search for rss and you want to find the bottom one rss update interval and set that to 20 it's probably set to about 15 for yourself click set and then apply so to just go over the, the settings again you can pause it on each one so in general, connection, bandwidth, queuing, and advanced RSS, and DHT. So the general rule of thumb is if your internet speed from your internet service provider say is 48 megabytes per second um, you will only theoretically be able to achieve a 4.8 megabytes a second download speed so i'd go ahead and start it i'm on 48 megabytes so theoretically my maximum is 4.8 megabytes a second let me just see where this currently sits so if you've only got an 8 megabyte connection then you're only going to be able to download at 800 kilobytes a second 
if that makes sense. So uh, don't be disheartened if you can't achieve a fast speed. It might be that you don't have a fast internet connection. And it's also based on the torrent. If your torrent only has, you know, three seeds, you're unlikely to get a good speed unless they're uploading. Um, they got, if they've got a good upload speed. But if you've got any comments or any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. But as you can see, I'm now downloading it near my maximum speed I can achieve. Thanks for watching.